Local program funding provided by a generous grant from Union Pacific. Union Pacific, Building America. I'm Karen Hoyt, Marketing Director at Shasta Regional Medical Center, and we're proud to be part of the conversation that the forum at KIXE is bringing to our community. Shasta Regional has been around for more than 60 years supporting our community, and we would like to invite you to be a part of the forum on KIXE. Together, we can support the community that gives us back so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on the forum tonight. We are doing things a little bit different. We're here with um, two writers and my co-host, Christy Largent. And Christy is going to introduce the two of our new we've writers Ashley tonight. Tate, thank you very much. And we've got two, we're really lucky because we have two superstars in the writing world with us tonight. And the first <laughs> is Kimberly Carlson. And she's going to tell us all about her book that, in fact, she's just been on a trip to New York City. She's going to tell us all about that. And Cindy Martinson Coloma, Martinison. Martinison Coloma <laughs> is the correct way to pronounce it. Cindy has been writing for years as well and has a number number of published books and so we're going to get to find out a little bit more about their secrets of how they do it and what makes it unique in the marketplace and what if you're an interested if you're interested in writing we get to ask them about what what would they suggest that you could do to um, break into the writing market and how do you go about doing it so let's get started right away I guess you girls are you ladies are friends mm -hmm. and have yes. known each other how long have you known each other about 15 years yeah. we met at a writing um, workshop and we clicked right off um, kindred spirits for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you write on the same topics? Well, we both write fiction. Um, is our probably our, our big love is mm -hmm. fiction, but then we also write on all sorts of things as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so, Cindy, one thing that I do have to mention is that you just had a newborn baby. Yes. About two months <laughs> old now. So, tell us about your baby and what's that like. Uh -huh. Like, are you still writing and? Yes, I, I was planning to take a little time off and then I had writing opportunities pop in on my, at the hospital. I checked my email Sweet. and I sh that was the thing. I should have never checked my email at the hospital. I know. And, I'm you're and efficient. Then, I know. <laughs> and then uh, two days later, my agent called and was like, I have a project. I know the, to the timing's terrible, but you're the writer for this. And so that's the thing with writing. If it comes, you better take it. Yeah, I was going to ask, how yeah. does that work? So how, what would your agent say? What is an example of maybe a past book that you've done? We won't talk about this specific project unless you can. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, normally I will have an idea and I develop it and work with her on looking uh -huh. for a publisher writing the whole manuscript. Or in the past, I was able to do some, some just proposals. Um, but this one was one that she came, she found, and they needed a collaborator. Oh, so okay. I've been doing more collabor collaborating yeah. um, to help other people write their book, or someone who's a bigger name maybe needs more of the writer. Oh. So I've been doing all sorts of diverse things with my with it lately. And so this came in that um, they, it's a story about a woman who's 101, and so they're wanting to get the book done quickly and. <laughs> Um, so they wow. asked me to to help them to get it done, to kind of stay on task and get the other writer to to write. So would so. you be sort of like a writing coach? Or yeah, that... but I'm doing actual writing as well. She oh. actually came down from Portland last weekend, and we spent the weekend at the Bridge House oh, and wow. um, working and writing together. So okay. it's always different. Some people, I've been the collaborator, and I've written the whole book without <laughs> even really giving a lot of input yeah. and then other people have been very in intently in the project and then this one the writer will be writing some of it as well oh wow so it's it's yeah, all over <laughs> how did you break into that how did you get in um into that whole collaboration process and it started mainly um, from my contacts my kind of that network um, my i had editors who asked they were looking for a writer and so they contacted me so I really see that building of relationships and keeping the relationships um, has helped with a lot of work so you had an agent before you started doing collaborations yes I've had an agent for 15, 16 years I think Wow yeah 
And so Kimberly, it's kind of gone a different route, yeah. right? You've done right. more of the independent publishing mm -hmm. route. So tell us about how that's a little different than starting with an agent and what, what all that means. And it's drastically different, mm -hmm. and but the, the publishing world has changed so much mm -hmm. during this um, the last 10 years. Yeah. And um, um, it's been a huge amount of work, but on the other side, I feel like everything about my book belongs to me. I've been through every step of the way. I almost, I almost can know where every book has gone, uh -huh. and um, and so I there's a there's a huge sense of accomplishment in doing what I've done. And one of the big things I just want to kind of piggyback on that too is that you've also started your own publishing house. Yes. I mean that's kind of a it's kind of a big deal. Right. Um, and so many times I um, when I'm in my office. Um, I psychologically put on my editor's publisher hat and to promote my book and as an editor publisher and, um, um, and not think about it as the writer right. and someone who's promoting it. Right. You know, doing that, however, um, I think um, as a mother, you're yeah. always <laughs> juggling at least mm -hmm. five balls, um, but now as a writer, I think um, you're also juggling yeah. A few um, more. Yeah, <laughs> and traditionally, back in the in you know the glory days of the '40s, '50s, and '60s, writers could just be writers, yeah. Yeah. and that's not the case anymore. Mm -hmm. We we you have to unless you're one of the top um, five percent, you have to get your book out there to the public. So yeah. yes, even I mean even when you're publishing with a with a public a, a mainline right. mm -hmm. publisher, you're. You're, they're still wanting you to develop your audience, and yes. that's part of yeah. the whole presentation to get them to publish your book, isn't it? To yes. say, this is how I'm going to market it. This is who my target market is. These are the people that I know. These are the these are the ways that I can get this book sold right. without you guys. Right. right. So and I write literary fiction, and it has the smallest market. Oh, really? And it, yes, and it's the. Um, and it, because it's so subjective, mm -hmm. so you know, um, you may read a book that you love, and Ashley may pick it up and say, eh, "It doesn't work." So, for what's me. an example of a literary fic that genre, literary fiction? Oh, would to that be Kill like a Mockingbird, okay. um, um, okay. Janet okay. Kite Runner, into in mm -hmm. modern, yeah, mm -hmm. those maybe similar, literary. similar to being taught in something that could maybe be taught in schools, right? Would that yes, be or like Cold Mountain. And, Do you yes. remember that? Yes, yeah. that was actually a fantastic Gosh, that was a book. Great yes. book. And ah, she's actually book. been, your book is in the Florida Gulf Coast University, is that correct? Yes. Did I say it right? Yes, it oh, was taught okay. down in um, oh. the University of the Gulf Coast, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, they're using it as one of their textbooks. Yes, well, it was an English major textbook. Oh, wow. Yeah. So That's that was very neat. exciting from someone who came from the university world. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, and that's kind of the goal of literary fiction, I would say, right? Right. For people who love to read mm -hmm. and then people who you know, want to learn from your book. Right. Um, so you you mentioned you came from the lit the educational background. Tell us a little bit about your background, Kimberly, and then we'll come to you, Cindy. Um, well, I, I actually started school as a music major, and that's why I moved to Nashville. I um, worked for MCA Records. Wow. And then um, I just, I'm, I love the arts in general. So it's whether it's music or literature or um, dance. And I, I made the, the transition into literature, and so then I um, went to Humboldt State and got my degree um, in literature and composition, and I taught at Humboldt. And then I came back to Reading, my hometown, and wow. taught at Shasta College and National University. Mm -hmm. And I took a break when my son was born seven years ago from teaching. And yeah. that is that when you kind of kicked in on the writing end? Right. Well, I knew, um, I quickly discovered I couldn't be a writer, mother, <laughs> and a teacher. So the teaching kind of just has taken a back seat right mm -hmm. now. One thing that hasn't taken a back seat is that um, just this past Saturday, uh, Kimberly danced in the uh -huh. Ready Dance Center show. I have oh, to wow. say that. She's going to hate me, that I, but I was <laughs> wow. there and I got to watch her. She did a fantastic job. Uh -huh. And it is a very inspiring to see a mother um, doing things that she's still passionate about. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we always think of things that we want to do. Yeah. Um, and sometimes some of us take the leap and some of us don't. So I'm very proud of you for doing oh, that. Oh, thank you. What kind of yeah. dance? Ballet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's great. It's a lot of fun. But I, I, I think when I, you know, 
hit 40, there really became a point when I'm going to make my life what I what I wanted right. to do as much yeah. as I can mm -hmm. and to really take control. And that's when I published the book and started uh -huh. ballet. Oh, <laughs> that's you done. Isn't that empowering, oh, though? Had you Don't done you it like before as a child? No. Uh, no. Just for a few months. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. So you were starting cold. Yes. You and all the other 14-year-olds. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and on stage with, with an audience. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and for you. Yeah. Do you know how many women were sitting in that audience thinking, I sure wish I had the... The courage yeah. mm -hmm. and the time, I could make the time, right? No one has time. You have yeah. to make time for mm -hmm. something like that to do what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, that gives me chills just saying those words. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I told really, you I, I mean, to join her. you see, we, <laughs> how, many, cause how many of us go to a zillion dance concerts or a soccer games or whatever, and we watch our children doing these things and we're like, oh, I, I would love I, to do that. Exactly. You know? and, I wish I would have done and that. And I love the idea that you said, you know what, now is whenever or now That's is right. my someday. That's right. right. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so you you self so you went ahead and self published the book. Well, I opened a publishing house, First okay. Snow Publishing House. So that's, what's it called? It's called First Ho First Snow Publishing House. First mm -hmm. Snow Publishing. I love that yep. name. Yeah. Yes. And how'd you come up with that name? Um, I yes. love the snow, and to me there's something, when that, that first snow of the winter hits, there's something cleansing and magical and just um, soul warming about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I wanted to encompass that in my literature. So you mentioned now this is we're going to come back to your history. Good. Thankfully we have a nice amount of time today, I hope. They'll give me like the 2 minute warning. I'll be like, "What?" <laughs> but we will come back to your history because I'm curious though you mentioned how publishing has changed in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the difference between self-publishing, starting a publishing house and then going with a mainstream publisher. Can you guys elaborate on that a little bit and sure. what was you, also Kimberly what was your impetus about saying I would, rather than just self-publish I'm going to go ahead and and do a publishing house. I think um, self-publishing there's um, many companies you can use and they'll take care of your formatting, even some editing, and your um, graphic design. And they sometimes even promise some marketing. Hmm. And you can either do a full um, tangible book or the, just the ebook. And so they do a lot of the work for you. They even will get your ISBN numbers and copyright it through the Library of Congress. Um, for me, opening the, the publishing house, I had to do all that. I had to, you know, I had to become the businesswoman and um, hire my graphic designer, hire my editors and my proofreaders and my, you know, get my ISBN numbers and right. do the marketing and find the printers and pick out my page layout and pick out my font. So it was just complete control for me. And I'll let Cindy talk about traditional publishing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's interesting because right now, really, writing has, writing and publishing has changed enormously. And one of the difficulties is trying to go through and find you know what is the best method for you because there are so many opportunities whether it's starting your own publishing house or all the many different um, self-publishing agencies that'll help you and I mean they just some you know charge a, a lot of money and then some you know don't and it's just really difficult to kind of figure that out then on the traditional publishing end that's more where those publishers are even doing a lot of changing right now as well. In the past, you would send them a manuscript. They yeah. would, um, well, and normally it had to be through an agent. So first you had to try to get an agent. Then the agent would send out the manuscript. And it was a long, long process. But then you had a partner. And you, you know, still you do yeah. have a partner um, with the books I'm publishing. You know, they're part of the marketing plan. They, they are able to, a lot of times, go to conventions or meetings that um, are difficult to get into. Mm -hmm. And so you have someone that you can work with. They are asking more and more for the writer to take on the role of publicist and um, doing all the marketing and being very social on social media. Mm -hmm. The public mm -hmm. really wants to be able to connect yeah, with yeah, yeah with a celebrity or a musician or yeah. a writer and so it's something very hard for a lot of writers like it's <sighs> difficult for me I'm I don't like to self promote I don't like um, I I would be one of the writers off in their little hovel writing away and, oh. and then here's my work of art and um, so <laughs> it kind of forces um, you out is uh -huh. I think most writers are have an introverted nature mm -hmm. and so it's a challenge 
Yeah, I well, think. I, oh, yeah. Go I ahead. was just going to say. I think that's one of the most difficult thing. I think to be a writer, you almost have to be an introvert because mm -hmm. you're spending so many hours alone mm -hmm. with yeah. your characters, mm -hmm. and in today's marketing um, world, we're forced to be extroverts, mm -hmm. and so it's a, it is it's challenging. It is. But with with the you know with the internet and all that and that we have now, I mean it's kind of nice. You guys can still do your writing through your blogs and mm -hmm. through your, you know, social media and all that stuff. So I mean, it kind of gives you a little bit of a balance. You don't have to be right out in front, but yeah. um, have it the does. ability to express yourself. Yeah, people just really want to get to know who you are and what it's like to be a writer, and that's what's so exciting about it. Because generally before you couldn't get to right. know about the writer before, you know? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. You would have to either see them at a, re a book reading or signing. Exactly. At Barnes & Noble or exactly. at a local bookstore. Yeah. So, okay, so Cindy, tell us about your background because you're of a different kind of yeah. pattern. Yeah, I, um, I've i always been someone who just had interest in everything. <laughs> I would always um, have all sorts of different ideas of things I wanted to do and then in um, my late teens I started writing more I wrote as a child my I started my first novel at 12 oh, or so. I love it. <laughs> so I've always loved writing and I really saw that being able to write let me be able to explore all the things I was interested in that's and a unique way of looking at things. yeah that's, and that's so true. I got to be all these different people it's very similar to being an actor I think yeah. because you get to go into the these different lives and explore who they are and then those characters take on a life of their own. Yeah. So I started pretty much just writing and um, I wrote also for my church. I wrote church plays and that was really amazing because you could get that immediate feedback if you had like a line of humor. You got to hear if they laughed. Hopefully they would laugh and yeah. it was very rewarding because with writing you know you send out this book you might get a review or or different things, but you don't see that immediate reaction. You're not sitting there at, in their head as they're reading. Um, so I started just writing and then um, went to Writers Forum here in Reading was my first writing group and heard about going to conferences and so I started going to writing conferences uh -huh. and I just kept writing and, and, and then did you finally get picked up by I, an it agent? took a long time yeah okay. I kept writing and I was raising children then right. like I am now <laughs> yes. yeah so my oldest is 23 so it was back then of yeah. doing the same thing I'm doing now in the middle of the night yeah, and that's you know that's just difficult. trying to learn the craft and reading writing books right. and working with um, editors or critique partners, you know, anything like that to, to um, continue to hone the craft of writing, which I still do. I still read writing books and, but now, and we've done. But now you're an expert at it. I mean, we can say that you're an expert. I mean, you've done yeah. it many times over. And I actually want to see this book that you have. So tell oh, us. So you guys brought, brought, brought yeah. their books. Yeah, Let's I know. See. I want to okay, see. So here's see. a couple that you brought. Why don't you tell yeah. us? Show them. Hold them up okay. so people can see them. <laughs> this was, um, I've written a number of books. I've written 12 novels. This was, wow. I think the, I don't know what number. <laughs> but this one's kind of special because it's set in the Philippines, this orchid house, and I met my now husband in the Philippines. Oh, and he wow. helped with the research. And um, now we're married, Aww. obviously, and I have two little babies. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I did a couple collaborations with Sheila Walsh, the um, Women of Faith speaker. Okay. And this one was the, the newest one. It came out last August, Song of the Broken Hearted. And then I was excited to get this one in Afrikaan. And I, my books have been published in German, Norwegian, Dutch, but this was the first in Afrikaan. Wow. And I, you know, obviously can't read it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's, but nice it's really great. Another language, it's so, right? I think this is sometimes the most rewarding to think of it being translated and going out to different countries. Oh, mm -hmm. right. So those are a few of, of my books. And Kimberly, awesome. let's and see yours. That's. It's such a neat, no, this she, is such a neat contrast. I have to say oh, one thing wow. before you start because okay. she is extremely modest <laughs> and she will not tell you, but this book got um, five star reviews. Yeah. Can you tell us where and what award you won? <laughs> oh, from the, the five star review was from yeah. the um, San Francisco Book Review and that wow. will be printed um, the first of July. It will come out in their little booklet. And then um, the award is an Ippy Award for um, independent publishers, and it got a gold um, 
medal okay. for the best fiction of the Pacific West. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And what's your book about? It, Out of the Shadows? Out of the Shadows. It's about a woman who learns to heal her wounds and um, becomes empowered by addressing the sufferings of others mm. and helping um, the Darfuri refugees. The Darfur refugees. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it's really, a be I mean, it's a beautiful book. It is and a beautiful book. It really yeah. is. Mm -hmm. um, some and great it gets reviews people thinking about what's going on in the world yeah. outside of their little circle. It yeah. does, but um, yes, I'm very active in Genocide No More, Saved Our Four here in Reading. And, um, and um, but I also, it's not a downer book. It shows ways that that people can um, can look outside of their own lives, but while also empowering their own their their personal experiences and. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I just love that we have these amazing women who've taken the ideas and run with them and run with them successfully. I mean, I think to win the the to win that kind of an award with your first book out yeah. and with the first thing you've published is yeah. extraordinary. You, yeah. You've probably read a lot of Kimberly's writings in like our local uh, magazines and mm -hmm. so forth, but yeah. this, is, this is like a whole other level. And right. I mean, being approached by stars, if you will, mm -hmm. to help with their books and write their books, it's pretty extraordinary that here we are in the North State with this kind of talent. Absolutely. So where can we get your books? Those are, we're wrapping it up here, if you can believe our <laughs> yeah. time's almost finished. So where can we find your books, and um, how can we support you in what you're doing? Um, Amazon.com, of course, yeah. and Barnes and & Noble, and I think my books are even um, still at the local Barnes and & Noble. And, um, they're um, at um, All About Books on Court Street, and of course, my website. All right. Well, we've got um, Kimberly Carlson is the book that you're going to be looking for with her Out of the Shadows. That's the author you're going to be looking for. And Cindy goes by two names, <laughs> um, either Cindy Coloma, which is on some of her books, and then others are, have Cindy Martinez and Coloma. And if you um, look, like you were saying, on Amazon. Yeah, Facebook. We're both Facebook. on Facebook. Yes. So That's we need to friend you, friend yes. your pages. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> and are your pages under your names or under yes. your books? Yes, under the name. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, that was a great time. I had a great time with you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so Fantastic. much for coming on yeah. and sharing your books with us. For writers, it's hard for them. Like they said, they're not exactly <laughs> extroverts. So, But we've enjoyed all your extrovertedness today as we got to hear about you. So you've spent another half hour with the forum. Uh, where we look at interesting people doing interesting things in the North State. And we are so glad you're with us. Come back next week for our next exciting show. Please go to our Facebook page, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Local program funding provided by a generous grant from Union Pacific. Union Pacific, Building America. I'm Karen Hoyt, Marketing Director at Shasta Regional Medical Center, and we're proud to be part of the conversation that the forum at KIXE is bringing to our community. Shasta Regional has been around for more than 60 years supporting our community, and we would like to invite you to be a part of the forum on KIXE. Together, we can support the community that gives us back so much. Thank you.